The first thing you want to do is lift up the trunk tray cover. And then remove the side tray covers as well. Zooming in on this clip, there is a plastic piece that you will remove in the center of those side trays. This red arrow will show you to remove the Phillips head screw on the side panel. And now, gently remove the weather strip loose. Once that is taken off, remove the plastic molding as you see in this video clip. Now for a better camera view, there is a 10mm bolt on the back of this inside trunk and you will go ahead and remove that too. Your next step is to pull the interior liner so that you have full access of the back of the tail light. Now take your 10mm socket and remove these 10mm bolts indicated by the red arrows. This next clip shows you where to remove the 10mm bolt underneath your fender well, located in the rear. Remove this screw so that you can loosen up the rear bumper And now gently pull on your rear bumper. Go ahead and disconnect the plug harnesses and remove the tail light. Go ahead and find your new aftermarket tail light and swap that in. Go ahead and make sure that the lights are properly working and the connections are secure. Your last step is to repeat on the other side and you're good to go.